Lovely hill. Lovely house. Lovely day. It's turned out perfect. I'm not hot, I'm not cold. Even though I've got this thick quilted coat on, I'm not cold and not hot. It's just right. There's Brent Nola across the harvested maize fields. Haven't been up there for a couple of years. I like to have a break. Handy having this bit to walk on. I mean, normally we used to go sort of along there, but... <sighs> yeah, I've, got, I've, been, I've been in through there before now, nip round the back when it was very muddy. But this farm's definitely expanded. <sighs> definitely. So this is Sheila in the Somerset countryside on the 6th of March 2021. She's um, walked from Hutton, through Hutton Woods, along a bridle path, and then down a beautiful hill, up a beautiful hill, on top of a beautiful hill, overlooking everything. And it's got a name, that hill. I will find it out. I keep forgetting to look. There we've got Brent Knoll. And I, I, when I was right up on the hill, right up there, when I was right up there, I um, looked over at these fields to see if there were any cows, and I couldn't see any. But there are usually cows um, near the farm, but I couldn't see any, but that doesn't mean there won't be any. Basically, what's going to happen is... Um, We just have to play it by ear. So there we go, beautiful Somerset countryside, everyone. Beautiful, isn't it? And very soon, the cows will be out in force. They might not be out yet, but they will be. They could be let out today, in a minute, for all we know. That small window that I had is gradually closing, and if not closed, especially um, over Cheddar Way, where I normally go, where there's a small opportunity to <coughs> walk parts of the gorge <coughs> without the cows there. But seeing this sort of weather, <coughs> it's, um, I should imagine that it's going to be a matter of days before the cows are let out now. I'm not too keen on going through these fields, actually, once the bigger herds are out. Uh, it's alright if they're way over, but it's even taken a risk further up, but I've always managed to get there when they aren't round, when they're not round the gate. I'm going to take my hat off for a little while now, again. This is a lovely sunny afternoon for a really nice pleasant walk. That you And you so that you feel like you've had a walk as well. You know, not just a walk around the park, you feel like you haven't had a a massive eight or ten hour walk but you, you'll probably end up with a good five hour one and it could could even turn into six depends how slow I am and what I'm planning to do a little tiny horse in there a little tiny pony with his little coat on right then so there's a the river axe is just over there by the way, we're not far from it. But there is a walk I sometimes do near the near the river. A little bridge there, look. That's all this is all new, this sort of thing. 
where people have built up their land a bit. And um, there's a little pony. Hello. Dog's loose. Hello, darling. Oh, aren't you beautiful, darling? Oh, look at you. You're so precious. Yeah. You're so precious. Let me turn I'll up and stop take... there to take pictures of those lovely little ponies. Yeah, so that's um these look new, these huts here. Maybe they're holiday homes. If you know what I mean. Get rented out to people. Yeah, this place has definitely grown. There's the hills back there. I'm just gonna zoom up to the top of the hill there. See what that is. It's just a gate. Yeah, I've been through that gate before. Yeah. Yeah, the weather's holding really well for me. Of course, I'll be going up those hills, up through that hill, up towards the church. Um, St. James. St. James is at uh, Bleeden. I think it's St. James. Could be St. Mary's. I can't remember now. But there we've got uh, Brent Knoll again. And a series of walkways. Don't look overdone, actually. Maybe people are being sensible and not overdoing it. And you never know. They might have had someone patrolling out here saying, what are you doing walking out here? I mean, you don't know. But uh, at the moment, I'm just I'm trying to keep healthy. You know, trying to keep healthy. There's a really pretty bush I can see from here. I'm going to take, I'm going to zoom in on it. In the greyness, there's a lovely, lovely little bush, look, a little tree with its blossom. Look at that. Lovely little bush. Sticking out for miles up up Bleeding Hill there. No cows yet. Yeah, I've timed it. I've timed it right, really, because you do get big herds in here. That's a big old timber, and that could be an old um, railway sleeper, couldn't it? The Labrador doing his guard duty. Hello, hello. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? What do you want? What do you want, biscuits? You're a good boy doing your good duty. You're doing your good duty. Yeah? You're a good boy. Yeah? Good boy. Yeah. You're lovely. You're lovely. You're lovely. Yeah. Bye-bye then. Bye-bye, baby. Good boy. Yeah, <laughs> you're funny. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Good boy. You're telling me. You tell me off. Hey, good boy. Yeah. It's a laboratory. You don't scare, but they can't hurt you, actually, if you want me to. Just let me know. He's protecting his property. Now, if it was a German Shepherd or Rottweiler or one of them Dobermans, or even one of those illegal dogs, I'd be petrified. <sighs> Not of all of them, but those, there is that dog called, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's a bit like a Staffy, but it's um, an illegal type. 
don't think you're supposed to have them even. Lovely wayward clouds today. Uh, I'm hoping to get out on my bike a bit more, but I really need to get the cycling shorts with the padding. Um, definitely. As soon as that Holford shop's open, I'll see if I can get some. I don't really know how you measure what size you're supposed to be. Or how you try them on. So here we go. I've come to sort of these gates before now and then looked and there'd be cows right up the other end of the field there. And I've been very lucky at times. I've managed to creep across this field and they've stayed up there. Sometimes you have to open the gate really quietly. It's only because I was chased on three occasions, really chased and um, surrounded. And the fact that people have died every year from being trampled by cows. <laughs> that I'm more wary than I ever was. I would walk amongst the cows and say, oh, get out of the way and all that, you know. I, I, uh, yeah, I did. It's a big old tree. Look at the size of that trunk. You've seen better days, haven't you? I'm having a break from putting videos on, even though I'd like to keep up to date with them, really. Um, I've got a few building up already. I haven't put on the uh, Crooks Peak walk yet. <coughs> I haven't put it on, on um, YouTube, I mean. Alright, I'm going to turn off take some more photos, everyone. It's a lovely day, lovely winter's day still. Okay, we've just come up across the field. No cows today. Um, just walked right the way from over there to a little bridge. Then I went over that way and then up the hill, of course. Nice view. I can remember we used to have to walk through that farm. A real old farm full of old barns. Looks very empty. I mean, maybe it's one of those that's packing up. Um, who knows? Does look very, very tidied up, doesn't it? Very tidied up. Mm. I don't know what's going to happen to our farming. There's a somebody walk going along there, look, a type of um, vehicle there, look, going along. I don't know. Could be a route he's using to uh, he's got lots of fencing panels on the back. I mean they used to go around in their tractors years ago. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? The land. Interesting. Thing is, I can pick someone out ever so easily with my eye, and they could always walk in. Done it a minute ago. That's some tour I picked out. But it's but there's some popular trees right in the line now. But I managed to squeeze a picture in. Anyway. This is the back way up to the hill that will lead me to the village of Bleeden. It's going on for half three in the afternoon. This is very picturesque this all year round as well. When this comes out in blossom, it's amazing. It's very, very, very pretty. And of course, last year I came, when I came the other way, it was 23rd. It was two weeks further on, so it was even more springish little flowers and yes yeah, a nice little pleasant walk this is around the back way you feel safe because the cows don't come here but 
cows are kept on the top sometimes, but from what I can see, they're not up there at the moment. So I can walk back down past the church, which won't be open. I was one of the lucky ones last year. I managed to get inside Bleeding Church. They hadn't put up the COVID signs or anything, you know. Um, and I, 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 I was glad of that. But other churches have been closed. Puxton was closed when I went to it last, not long ago, on a cycle ride. Was it a cycle ride? Yeah, I reckon it must have been. It only seems like the other week, but it wasn't. It was in, in the summer, Sheila. I've got no time's just gone. Sometimes I do forget. Like, I don't know if I took a pill the other day because I do the same thing and I thought, well, was it yesterday? Or, you know what I mean? Things like that. Even though I mark it on, normally what I do, I take the pill and then mark it on the calendar. Uh, what I'd done that, that time, I'd marked it on the calendar and possible, then forgot to take it. So, you know, it is one of those dodgy things that you can do. You don't have to be old to get little lapses like that. Very recovered, the land here. Makes you wonder if they are going to have the cows out, doesn't it? Makes you wonder. The birds are having a good sing-song. The joys of spring will soon be here. It is, of course, meteorological spring, according to the weather people. But it's not on the the proper diary uh, calendars. It won't be the t the twenty first of March. <sighs> yeah, I can see Glastonbury quite well from here now. I'm going to zoom in. Quite far off. There it is. Of course. I've got to turn off, haven't I? Oh, well, that was on, um, that's on movie. Sorry, everyone, I'm going to have to turn off now and take a picture of that. That's some right yeah. Overnight for a minute. Right, I've just spotted fresh cow pack, very fresh. Probably within the last half hour. Now, I did see a herd. They must have had another way of taking them back towards the farm. These are all fresh marks. There has been a herd up here. Look at all this fresh pack, look. As I was leaving the farm, coming up a little track, I seen, I seen a load of cows. So it's possible that they've got another way of um, getting them out of this field. Yeah. When I'm up here, look how beautiful the, the whole scene is. I sometimes come down from that hill up there, I think it is, Hellinge Hill, and down through the village. But look at this pack. Do you know what? That is a matter of just, if I'd been half an hour earlier, I would have I'd met them up here. They've only just been taken out of the field. And that's that herd i just seen. I mean, maybe they're going in for milking. That's amazing. They have been, they are up here already. They've only just been taken out. Look, look at that. That's fresh cow pack. Oh, loads of it, they're all up here. Let me go and have a look over. Yeah, my God, look at it. It's massive. Now look over there, we've got the back of Breen Down. There, look. The back of Breen Down. Trick point on top. 
and then you've got Steep Home, you've got Breen Caravan Park, it's turned out an absolute brilliant day everyone, and I'm up here in this area, and uh, I literally escaped the cows by, I would say, Really, really just escaped them by the hair of my teeth. Look at it. Look. That's recent. That's like in the last half an hour. My God. They must be taken down through a gate down there somewhere. That's absolutely amazing. I'm just going to zoom into a hill over there. That, I think, is Nyland Mound. And I've been up that. Last year, I think I walked there. Got, a, I got a bus, Wells bus. Got off and walked there, and then walked back to Cheddar and got a bus. Nylon Mound. Some of the references and features. I just can't believe how lucky I was, really, because I seen this herd of cows running, and I could smell the freshness of the cow. Uh, I mean, I've got no idea if they're going to be milked now or if they're just going to be put out in the fields there. <sighs> That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I'm just going to walk over here a bit. <laughs> I just can't get over it. Somebody else up here, which is a bit of annoying because I'm trying to do my videoing. Yeah, they, they've just been taken into the barn. But it's possible that they've just literally been taken in. Literally just been taken in. There must be a way. Yeah, there's a track going down there. Yeah, that's what that's what's happened. God, you know, you've got to walk right back, back up this girl if you go down there now. Yeah, they were quite moving quite fast as well. I reckon they've gone in to be milked, you know. Or they're going to be let out in the fields down there. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this scenery beautiful though? It's gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, you could be stuck indoors now, couldn't you? It could be stuck indoors. We've got plenty of horrible weather to come. No cows out yet. They've been taken in. Definitely. If that bloke wasn't there, I would have gone back there. Because basically, it's, um... I want to go, I want to do it as well. It's just that he's there. I want to go back towards the... It means I've got to climb up again, but look, look at this beautiful view. I just want to go back over towards the farm, to tell the truth. I just want to be able to see down into that field. I mean, it'd be awful if they were released back out now. So I've got to get up back up the hill. Yeah, there was a big herd of calves. I just want to go back over to have a look in the farm for a minute. There must be a way in that he took them. He got loads of cow back. I was looking at some cows actually in the barn, right? I was looking at some cows actually in the barn. 
sure how you would have taken them. There's the gate there. I don't even know if I'll be able to see. I'm going to go back up in a minute. It's just that I'm curious. Yeah, there's Kopak there. Kopak, where's the way in? Where's he take them? That's what I really want to know. How did they get into that field? Unless they're further around, of course. Yeah, there's a muddy track there, look. Muddy track into the back of the farm. Yeah, down there, look. Yeah, more, more there. Look, the fresh feathers. I'll be running out of memory in a minute, I think. How would they go? Would they go down through there? Bet they did in the past. Some have been here though. Yeah, they've been taken along the track and into the back of the into the back of the farm to be milked. Which means they'll be out again in a minute. I still haven't had my water. But it's just I find that bit curious. I wonder if they let them back out at that gate there. Because they went up through there. Oh. All those cows went down through there, look. There's no sign of them now. They might suddenly appear, Sheila, and you'll come face to face with one. Yeah, I know. Right, over and out for a minute. 